Let us consider a, a sector or circular sector of lamina of radius capital R of radius capital R and the central angle alpha. We need to find the coordinates of center of mass of this sector. So how will you do that? Before that, let's fit this sector in a coordinate axis system. That is, let this be our x axis and this one be our y axis. This is equal to y and this is equal to x. So this angle will be, this angle will be alpha by 2. Similarly, this angle is also alpha by 2. So that the total angle is equal to alpha. Now let's take an arc like this at a distance of small letter r from the origin. And let's there be a small section and the angle that section made with the center be d theta. Let's erase this. Keep in mind that this angle is equal to alpha. Let this small angle be d theta. Since the r remains the same, this arc length will be r d theta. Let the thickness of this section be dr. So if you take this rectangle, it will be something like this of thickness dr, thickness dr and length r d theta. Clear. Now we have the area of the strip, area of the strip dA is equal to this small strip is equal to length into breadth that is r d theta into dr clear let let rho be the mass per unit area of the strip not not the strip of the lamina Then we have the mass dm is equal to mass of this strip is equal to rho times dA or dm is equal to that is equal to rho times dA is equal to r d theta dr. Clear. Let's call that as equation number one. Now we have to find we have the equation since this is this lamina is symmetric with x axis definitely y cm is equal to zero you don't have to find the y coordinate of center of mass since it is symmetric about the x axis y cm is equal to zero for the for the x cm it is equal to integral x dm divided by integral of dm this is the formula for that first you have to find the x let's take the distance of the origin let's mark this point if you draw perpendiculars from this point let's take a green color let's take the green color and mark it the cent uh, at the center of the strip we have this length is equal to x suppose if you take a triangle like this that is something like this. We have this angle equal to theta, this angle equal to theta, and this is our x and this this length hypotenuse is equal to r. Clear. Let's look at the triangle in here. This triangle. Okay. Then we have then we have cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to x by r or x is equal to r cos theta so this x is equal to integral r 
cos theta into dm is equal to rho r t theta dr. Clearly, there are two variables in here, an angle and a length. So, you have to use the double integral, clear, by integral of dm. Now, since the angle varies from C minus alpha by 2, here it is minus alpha by 2 and here it is alpha by 2, you have to write minus alpha by 2 to alpha by 2. And the radius 0, the total length of the radius is here it will be R0. Here it is origin 0, 0. So, 0 to R. Clear. So, there are two two variables in here. So, this will be XCM is equal to integral 0 to R. Then integral minus alpha by 2 to alpha by 2. This r and r will make r square, then r square, rho r square, cos theta, d theta into dr, whole divided by integral dr. Clear. Let's, let's find the solution by integrating this one. So, this will be let us take the first integral of angle that is xcm is equal to 0 to r keep that fixed then uh, you can take this rho r square outside rho r square outside because for the angle this r is a constant so rho r square integral minus alpha by 2 to alpha by 2 cos theta d theta after that a dr. So whole divided by then you have to find the integral dr. Integral dm means integral dm means rho into total area of the sector rho into you know if r is the radius and alpha is the central angle then its area will be half r square theta that is r, half r square alpha clear so this will be rho r square alpha divided by 2 integral d clear now let's simplify this this is equal to xcm is equal to integral 0 to r rho r square into integral of cos theta will be sin theta let's put the minus let, let's put the lower and upper limit dr divided by rho r square alpha by 2. So, this will be xcm is equal to integral 0 to r rho r square. If you put upper limit and lower limit, you will get sin sin alpha by 2 minus of sin minus alpha by 2 into dr whole divided by rho r square alpha divided by 2. So, this is equal to xcm is equal to integral 0 to r rho r square this will be 2 sin alpha by 2 dr divided by rho r square alpha divided by 2. Now you can take this rho 2 sin alpha outside since for the integration of r these all factors remains constant that is equal to 2 rho 
sin alpha by 2 integral 0 to r r square dr whole divided by rho r square alpha by 2. So this rho and this rho will get cancelled and this 2 will go up up. So this will be xcm is equal to this will this two will go up so four sine alpha by two divided by r square alpha into integral of r square equal to r cube by three now you have to put the limit zero to r so on solving this you get four sine alpha by 2 divided by r square alpha into this will be r cube divided by 3. You can cancel r square and r cube it will be r so the answer will be xcm is equal to 4 r sin alpha by 2 divided by 3 alpha clear so this is the expression for center of mass x coordinate of center of mass of this lamina so the coordinate will be xcm comma ycm that is equal to 4 r sin alpha by 2 by 3 alpha comma by 3 alpha comma zero. Clear. Yeah.